Ladies and gentlemen, I guess it's that day. We've got lots of goodies coming in. This is a reboot, a reimagining and a remake, a republishing of uh, Hannibal Rome versus Carthage. And it was designed by uh, this gentleman, Jaro, and we're not going to try and pronounce his, uh, his last name. I'm going to try it later on, but not right now, because that's a mouthful. And it's published by Phalanx. Now, I had owned the previous uh, version of this game, one of the one of the reprints that came out with the, the map that was in pieces, uh, like, kind of like a jigsaw puzzle, and I really didn't get into it at all uh, until I learned to play with a friend at a Game On uh, convention in Seattle that's run by Jeff Newell. And it was there that... I gained an appreciation for the system and the card play. It was one of the first card-driven games that I actually enjoyed. So when this came out, uh, the Kickstarter uh, was released. Uh, this is a 20th anniversary edition. It's got uh, lots of refinements to it from uh, you know, clarifications in the rule book to enhancements of the artwork to uh, refinement of the cards that you play, as well as an additional uh, Son of Macedon expansion that will allow you to play uh, some additional bits. And in fact, I'm missing one component that I need to show you. I'll get that in when the time is right. We'll get to it. But uh, you can see on the bottom of the box, the side of the box here, double-sided game board because there's two, uh, two games in here, uh, three game books uh, to read all the charts, province display chart, 24 plastic miniatures, a custom dice, 220 cards, and 278 counters, and a storage tray for the minis. But, of course, whenever they do these Kickstarters, not only do you have to pay an outrageous amount of money for the game, uh, I'm not sure what this is going to retail for, and I forget what I paid, but it felt expensive at the time, you have add-ons, and so, of course, there's Hamilcar... Uh, sorry, no, this, who's this dude? Let's check on the side here. I'm sure it says. Uh, maybe it doesn't. Oh, this is for all the expansions. Okay, these are just guys for the expansion. Okay, there's got to be... I've got to say who it is here somewhere. Okay, Philippos is a new Carthaginian general. And this guy here... Why do I have two of them? Do I have two of them or are they different? Well, who knows? We'll see. Maybe I ordered two. Maybe I'm an idiot. That could have happened. Let's just pull the shrink and have a look at this big monster. I'll let you know the moment I popped the seal on this, the box just ro rose up a little bit. So I'm not sure all this is going to go back in the box. So we'll see. Storage may be a challenge. Beautiful artwork, right? And it's very heavy. <clears throat> Here's the back of the box for you to have a look at. Uh, I, I'm not going to read all the all the bits and pieces on the back here. You, you can read all that sort of stuff online. And right, let's just have a look at the components. High quality box, uh, beautiful satin, uh, sort of satin finish on it, uh, cards. And I'm gonna guess, uh, yeah, so they're separated by side. Okay, I'm just gonna put those down for a second. I can already see some new cards that I've not seen before. Obviously, these are the combat cards for flanking left and right and all that sort of fun stuff. You know, there were a few issues that people complained about the, the abstract nature of the combat. It didn't really bother me terribly much, given what we're trying to achieve here. So now we have the custom dice that come with it. These, these were a, a stretch goal. You can see them here. Ooh, look at that, dude. That's pretty groovy looking. That's a big, that's a big die. All right, there's a smaller one of the same type. There you go, so there's your dice. All right. nice, nice quality dice too. I'm gonna pull this minis tray out and we'll come back, let's come back to the minis. Uh, they had a number of issues with the minis and held off on pushing out the game to everybody in the US until they resolved it. They were shipping from shipping European folk first. Here are rule books. So first one. Uh, 
that's first and second Carthage Wars, uh, Punic Wars, which we know, and Fulka, wow. This is beautifully laid out. <laughs> I'm kind of speechless, <laughs> it's, it's really pretty. Uh, obviously, I can't speak to the clarity and corrections of the rules. Now, I did download a PDF of the rules and had a look at it, but you know, this is no comparison here. It's just fantastic. Very well laid out, well spaced, good font size, beautiful paper. Very much similar layout to the last, the last uh, release. Obviously better counters and whatnot, we'll see those in a second. Some optional rules. Okay, so there's a rule book. Miniature storage guide. Okay. Just in case you forget which guide goes where. Okay, the scenario book. Nice artwork on the cover, look at that. Look at the trireme. Set of instructions there for the Second Punic War, which is the, what the original game was about. Invasion of Italia. So there's three scenarios. First Cane. So I've really broken the war up into a series of different scenarios that you can play to pick it up from any time, which gives you a, a, a nice uh, historical feel. So you want to, because some of these games obviously go pretty quickly off the historical rails, right? And so it's nice to be able to have a scenario set up for you so you can go, oh, well, here's what might happen going forward from this particular point in time. Uh, notes on uh, uh, balance there, which, which sides they, they favor. We've even got the Iberian campaign in here. Hopefully you guys can see this okay without the glare. The Italian campaign, well there are, what are we at? It's just scenario 12, the African campaign, second Punic War. First Punic War, big campaign, right? Uh, let's flip through all this good stuff. Now what this must be, Special rules for the first Punic War is what I'm guessing here. You know, I don't want to take too much time on going through all this because I know it's hard for you to actually see anything of value there. Hamil Hamilcar scenario generals, the different capabilities and whatnot. All right, optional card distributions. Yes. That all right. The playbook. I'm assuming that this no, okay. so this is just to this is tutorials and you all know my opinions on <laughs> tutorials. I'm sure this is fantastic. Uh great. It's a Beautiful full color tutorial exercise to teach you the game. Read the rules. All right, province displays, short player aid. Perfect, that's probably going to be all we'll need. One for each side. Or well, one for Hannibal, one for Hamilton Car, I should say. Uh, details on the back as well. How to run battles. And the attrition table, siege table, retreat table, all that sort of good stuff there. All right, let's have a look at the map. And then we'll have a look at the, uh, the minis. These expansions and things. This is probably not gonna. Yeah, this is pretty big. Let's see if I can get this laid out without breaking anything. So there's one half of the map. Alright, we're gonna flip this over in a second. So you've got your Africa, Italy, 
and Cecilia here. And this is for, this must be for the, um, hang on, let me just flip it over, we'll see what's on the other side. Then we'll be able to tell, yeah, that's, that's for the Hamilcar scenario. This is the full, we just rotate it around, since I've been around the wrong way. Come here, little buddy. I'm at an angle here, so there we go. All right. You can see that there, that's your traditional map that you would have seen in the older versions. Spaces uh, look much larger and easier to manage. So we can put our tokens down on them. And all that sort of good stuff. So look at what else is on the map here. We've got the naval movement track or, or chart on the right hand side here. Attrition table on top left hand side. Uh, map key over here. Right. Tokens, and you know that you're placing these down as you gain control of different regions. These are pretty nice and thick. Great satin finish to them all. Nice patina to them. Some of the leaders. And you've got your military units here. Ships cities I'm wondering if you can uh, play without the minis that would be kind of cool uh, just having to say deal with getting him in and out of the box and all that sort of fun stuff so this has got everybody here you've got a, you can use a counter for the leaders perhaps don't know I'd have to look at in more detail and then you've got uh, some close-up on the counters for you Really first class effort here, I would say. Now, let's see who we got here. He gets his own card. So this is Philippos. And here he is. You know, since he's out, let's have a look at him. I'm gonna probably pay someone to these for me. I am definitely not going to do them. This is a pretty nice mold. Good detail. It's a light plastic, but solid enough. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Let's see what this other guy is. It looks like I got two. I don't know why I ordered two. Maybe it came with two. <clears throat> looks like this dude's just finished sacrificing a chicken. see who he is. He gets two cards. And he is Claudius. His face looks a bit ragged there. But, and he's got, uh, look, doesn't look like he had a very successful career. <laughs> uh, geez. All right, so there's that. I wonder if these are the same. I'm assuming they are. Yes, it is. I guess Philip has also got multiple cards as well. Let me just check the other box. Maybe I missed them. Yeah. Here's the, uh, the other guy. So there's those two chaps. And they're the same. I'm not sure why I received two of those. Hopefully I didn't order them, because that would suck. Because they were all relatively expensive. Okay, cards, I, I'm not gonna go through all these, but you can see the, the formatting. If you know the older game, the formatting is much cleaner, the fonts are uh, nicer to read, the artwork is crisper. <clears throat> and I, I've been told, and based on what I've read, that um, the, 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 all the ambiguities, or, or as many as possible, have been driven out of this. Uh, 
I spoke to Mark Simonich about this game and he was pretty excited about the level of effort that was going into the reproduction of it and the, uh, the, the, the love and dedication that Jaro put into it. And uh, it seems like it's been very well done. Let's have a look at these minis now over here and see who we have. And if, you're, if you don't mind, I'm going to leave them all in here for now. Uh, they've got numbers on them so that we can work out who's who. They look pretty good. No, well, this one's got a bit of a bent stuff, I guess, but that's probably... It's probably something you could heat up and fix that, just straighten that out a little bit. But everybody else, well, look at that dude. He looks pretty groovy. These are great, these are great quality, generally speaking. I'm gonna look forward to uh, having somebody paint these up for me with a pretty basic set of paints. Nothing too fancy. Look at that guy. Man, man of action right there. All right, that is an amazing bundle of goodness. Uh, extremely heavy. These rule books just in of themselves are very weighty, uh, substantial weight to them. Heavy count paper, beautiful finish on all of these. Look at that. Fantastic. Hopefully yours will be coming in the mail soon and if you didn't order one, oops, maybe you'll want to do that. But before we go, I have one more thing to show you that relates to this game. Right back. I mentioned to you earlier on, there are always you know, extras that can come with these games. And I'm going to put a knife. Uh, one of the options you had here was to purchase some of these men that you've seen me show you, but there's also an option, if I can open this without ruining it, to deploy this double-sided, enlarged playmat of the whole shooting match. Look at that bad boy. <laughs> huh? Huh? That's pretty freaking cool. That's a, like a neoprene campusy style stuff. Super flexible. All right. But that's uh, taken the, the sizing and scale up to, up to a whole, no, whole new level. And it's got the uh, the other game map on the back, of course. Uh, and it's exact replicas, just scaled up a little bit. Beautiful stuff. All right. Thought I'd share all that with you. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed that quick little look. Talk to you soon.